Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, we're gonna review a really special fig. It's called Campaneri, and it's really cold out right now. Um, it's been really rainy, and this fig seems to be holding up to all of that. This is Campaneri, and uh, we did a review of this a little bit earlier in the year, and it's become one of my favorite figs just after eating one, um, one fig. So I wanna see what this is like now. Um, we should've got more of these later in the year, um, we should have got definitely more of these the entire year, but we just ended up not, it's just not happening, um, for whatever reason. I had one Campaneri that I thought was Campaneri. It turned out to be a different variety, but you know, no big deal. We'll get to try many of these, many more of these in the future. I kind of want to capture this, um, cause if it is even special right now, that's pretty incredible. Um, I do have some varieties, let's say that are doing something, but most of them are in-ground trees. Like this, this is a really nice black Madeira right here that we'll get to try in a moment. Um, the in-ground trees seem to have more of that heat. You know, the ground is much warmer right now than it is in the, the potted trees. Just have, they just have a cooler soil temperature. There's a, so there's a Blanche de Deux Saison right there that I just felt. And there's a Pastelier right there, which we could probably pick up in just a moment. But um, let's make this video specifically about these Campaneri, this Campaneri fig here. And you know what? Um, it's probably not gonna be the best. At least that's my expectation. Because it's been so cold, because the soil temperatures are so cool, because it's been so rainy, you can see like a portion of it right here, it's kind of getting damaged. Um, but like I said, you know, some of the in-ground trees are still doing quite well, especially this black Madeira that looks really good. And then also we have some potted trees in the greenhouse, which are doing quite well. Um, but even in the greenhouse, it seems like they're not really producing nearly as well as some of the in-grounds, which is really something. Um, that's why, you know, another reason why I value these in-ground trees so highly. I'm gonna put you guys down for a moment and we're gonna cut this, cut this guy open here. You notice it's got a pretty red eye, that's a good indicator. As well as this, um, this line around the top here, almost like a persimmon, where it has that calyx at the top. There's an interesting little thing here at the top that separates the neck from the stem. So let me uh, open this up. Oh my God. <laughs> that actually looks really good, guys. <laughs> and you can see amongst the plate of jujubes or a bowl of jujubes, it looks pretty picturesque, I would say. <laughs> look at that. And look at that black Madeira just in there as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, these are the fall fruits, guys. This is what fall fruit, I guess, is all about. Let's try it. I'm excited. Holy crap. Yeah. It's got a pretty good flavor to it. Huh. It's getting a little bitter in this cold weather that we've been having. But that's pretty good, man. It's really sweet. Good amount of honey. It's so close to Smith. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's really similar in terms of flavor to a Smith. And um, that's nuts. You know, that's like a, if it reaches the same quality of Smith, you know it's a great fig. I mean, it's just, at that point, I, you can't really say much else. It's got um, not much acidity though. I, Smith has a little bit of acidity to it. That fig, in my opinion, has got more of like a, almost like a Concord berry flavor to it. Concord grape flavor. You can see, uh, uh, probably a more mature, actually, believe it or not. 
well, maybe not more mature, but a tree that has more growth on it than the one we just looked at of Campanieri. Here's another one. We rooted this guy in the ground. And I'm just trying to make many copies of that fig, guys. I, I really do believe that one's gonna be quite a winner here in the greenhouse. Things are, we got plenty of figs on some of these trees as you can kind of tell down in here and Syndrosa is just, it's been loaded since like the beginning of the season. It just doesn't want to put out many figs. And here's a black Madeira that we have in a pot in the greenhouse with the heater, just keeping things above 60. That's all, that's all. I'm not really running the heater all that much. It's quite warm in here right now. And the black Madeira UC Davis in the pot is really not doing all that much. If you looked at the KK black Madeira, um, that we have planted in the ground. It seems even the in-ground trees have like a, a pretty good advantage at this time of the year. So pretty nuts, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This little preview into that variety and some of the others. We'll talk a little bit more about, a little bit about this and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Take care.